Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a video all about crampons. Uh, these are a pretty important part of your ice climbing. They're one of the easier things to pick out just because uh, they have pretty generalized uses. But we're just going to talk about the points and uh, how many points you have, uh, the types of toe bail and heel bail options that you have, and some of the different sorts that you can have. One of the main distinctions between crampons is the front points. So there are two kinds of points we have. We have horizontal points like this pair. This is a very, very old black diamond pair. Uh, you can see they're rusting and stuff. And these, this is the black diamond cyborg pros. And you can see they have a uh, uh, pick similar to an ice tool compared to these, which are more like a shovel. These are going to be more used for hiking or if you're on an alpine route, this is going to allow you to get better purchase into snow and it's not going to do as well with getting into ice. So the benefit of these is that usually these kind of front points are accompanied by a pretty uh, friendly design that's really easy to get on and off quickly because uh, time is safety in the alpine environment. So these, if you're doing alpine, uh, these can be your friend, but for most people doing ice climbing, you're gonna want to start with something like these cyborg pros with these sort of front points. Now the next thing to talk about is if it's a dual front point or a single front point. These are a dual front point and the benefit you're gonna get from having a dual front point is it's gonna be more stable because when those front points go in, it's not gonna rock side to side as much. So you're gonna get a more stable position the downside is that it uh, can reduce mobility a little bit and make it where if you kind of dig your foot in a bad position, it's kind of going to interfere with you being able to move your foot and get it in that good position. Uh, this is going to be really good for most water ice, uh, even up to some more technical overhanging water ice. Uh, when you get into the more extreme stuff, you're maybe going to want to go to a monopoint crampon because also some of the features that you're going to be putting your crampons into are not going to really be well suited for two points. They're going to need only one point. And I've got a picture of the Black Diamond Stingers right here. And they are just a, a pretty standard monopoint crampon. Now, another one of the point styles that we have is like on these Gravel crampons. These come in two pieces, but we can see they are off-centered a bit. So one is quite a bit taller than the other. What this is gonna do is this is gonna give you uh, some of the mobility that you would get from a monopoint crampon and give you just a little bit of stability uh, that you would get from the dual point crampons. Uh, this is kind of something you'll have to experiment with and see if you like. And the good news is like, especially these Gravel crampons, they're very modular. So you can have a lot of different uh, front points and you can actually switch them out. You can see that's what this is for. And this bolt hole right here on either side. And uh, these can kind of be the best of both worlds but uh, you're probably not gonna see a lot of difference between these and a dual point crampon because they're still acting very similar to a dual point crampon. The next thing we're gonna be talking about is how crampons are attached to boots. Now, if we look on a boot, we can see that a boot has a toe bail right here, which is a little spot that comes out that your crampon wants you to stick on. And it also has a heel bail right here. And they don't have to be very large. They just have to be big enough to gain some sort of purchase, but this is where your heel bail will attach onto. If we look here at the crampon, we can see in terms of parts, we can see here is the toe bail, which is gonna go over the toe. And this is the heel bail. This is a pretty standard 
uh, heel bail system. Basically what it is, is this is going to attach to the heel bail and it's just gonna torque on and it'll actually snap into place. And then this will go around your ankle. And in terms of some other parts on crampons, you're gonna have little pieces like these. This is gonna help keep your boot stable on the crampon. And this is gonna kind of triangulate the surface that the boot is gonna to be touching. So it's gonna to be here, here, and the toe bail. And you really don't have anything like that on the front. So let's just go ahead and show you how to get them on a boot. So the first thing you need to do is figure out if you have the right cramp on. If you look here, the connection bar is actually moved a little bit to one side. So you can see this is a left foot cramp on and it actually has a small foot on it that says left foot. So I just get my left boot and I go ahead and stick the toe bail over and just put it on. Then I kind of try, I will extend this out all the way so that the heel can actually fit in between these. Then what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take this, put it next to the heel bail and just torque it in. And you'll have to find the right position because it takes quite a bit of force. But now you can see that's on like that. And right now this cramp on is securely on here, but this last thing is putting the strap on. Now, in this case, uh, it's just gonna go around the ankle. But if we look at a cramp on like this or those Gravel crampons that we were just looking at, it has attached to the toe bail, it has this. And this is going to add another point that the straps will go around. So this is really self-explanatory. All we're gonna do is take it around and put it in like, it has two rings, as you can see right there. We're going to go through the back of both of them, tighten it down so that it's like this. And then we're gonna take it and bring it through this one. So the first one, and then just tighten it down. And now this is secure. This doesn't need to be extremely tight. It's uh, mostly just an extra measure to make sure that this doesn't get uh, stuck on anything. And then in terms of actually getting rid of all this, uh, I would think you could cut this if you wanted to, but for the purposes of just not damaging your equipment, just do something with it to get it out of the way. I like to do like this. Uh, it really doesn't matter. It's just any sort of knot you can get to keep it out of the way of the crampon points. One thing to mention is that these points are gonna get a little bit worn down, as you can see right here. And it's just a tiny bit. I haven't used these crampons in particular a ton, but you can actually use a file and file these points. <laughs> now, one of the big things for stability is these points right here these are behind the front points and these are going to give you some stability when you go into the rock all these are into the ice rather all these other points like these uh midway points and then these ones in the back uh these are going to give you more stability while you're walking and stuff like that and if you're in a dry tooling competition or just if you're dry tooling in general they actually uh you'll see that the crampons are built into the boot sometimes and they also don't have any heel crampons this is because they can cut the rope and they just try to mitigate this risk because they do a lot of figure fours and nines so this will help mitigate the risk by taking these out one last thing i kind of forgot to mention is there is another kind of toe bail that doesn't actually seat in the uh toe bail spot on your boot i'll show a picture of that now and it's not gonna be as secure, but it's gonna be a lot quicker to get on. Basically, all you can do is open your crampon, put it on the ground, stick your boot in there, and then tighten the heel bail and uh, put the strap around. And it just makes one less step having to get this toe bail over. Uh, if you're doing ice climbing, you're probably gonna to wanna to steer away from those just because they're not very secure and they're gonna not give as tight of a connection between your boot and the crampon. So anyways, that's about it for this video. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Should be doing some more ice climbing videos soon.